How's it going, boys? Today we're playing Commander, and it's gonna be a Lord Zander, the Collector, the Triple Punisher tech. This card is something. When you drop him, your opponent discards half of their hand around the down. When you attack with him, your opponent mills their deck ra half around the down. When this bad boy dies, your opponent sacrifices half their permanence around it down. Oh yes, as you can probably tell, anything you do, any way you interact with this card, you're getting punished in some way, shape, or fashion. And this deck is wholly and solely built around the idea of just maximizing this punishment. We have things like Glass Bull Mimic. Glass Bull Mimic is amazing, you know why? When it comes in, it's another legendary copy, which means I need to sacrifice one. When you sacrifice one, his effect of getting destroyed kicks in, and your opponent sacrifices half. Spark Double, not no sacrifice effect, but whatever. Tessa the, the a Deep Dweller. You bounce it, and you and you, your opponent discards half that hand yet again. Vizier of many faces. Same effect as Glass Pool Mimic. Helm of the Host with the most. Pretty amazing. Instantaneously half mil of their cards. Litiform Engine. Because why not at this point? And Polychromonicern. Because double, uh, let's double his enter the field effect, which is pretty decent, so why not? Also, we have other cards that actually synergize with Pantle Harmonicon, so it's fine. And Sir Conrad the Grim. With Sir Conrad, this is an OTK style of deck, because roughly, when you get to attack with this boy and Sir Conrad is on the field, that means that your opponent is milling roughly 30 to 40 cards, and... Well, most decks don't have 30 to 40 HP in Commander when starting. So, Sir Conrad plus this card is an OTK type of strategy. Is it viable? Yes. Is it usable? Yes. Will we get it off? I don't know. Doesn't matter. This card is amazing on its own. And then just a bunch of supplements, you know. Considering we're using red, we're using things like Sunbirds Invocation, Noxious Gear Hulks, all the cool boy cards, baby! And that's... Really, really something. I like it. 40 lands to be specific, and with that being said, boys, subscribe and like the video, help out the channel. We are so close to one of our goals, the subscriber goal, so please <laughs> subscribe. YouTube has been re, de, uh, re not resubbing, but desubbing people, so, you know, press that subscribe button, make, show YouTube who's boss. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see. What happens? When I look at this, I feel the greed taking over. And when the greed takes over, you know I can't say no. That's a definite keeper. A completely unusable hand. Doesn't matter. I believe this will be usable. You know, we do have a counter spell for his s stupid planeswalker thing. So, technically, technically, we're, we're kind of okay ish. No, not really okay, but okay-ish. Because we're destroying his self-conscious, his self-righteous, his whole... The hell did you just do? Okay, that ruins my... Well, everything, not gonna lie. Oh, but good enough. We're still gonna do amazing and wonderful things. Proliferate. Oh, this is the three-cost one. There's a white one that does better. Okay, at least this is Omega Value, boys. When you can't play your 3 cost Planeswalker on turn 3, it's a sad day to be whoever this guy is. Oh, he's a ball of Salatar. Okay, it's a sad day to be, well, him every... Yeah, there's no way to put it nicely. I'm gonna just wait, I guess. We do have a Spark Double, which is also kind of meh. What's my plan here? Do I just really leave Vraska's Contempt if he drops a land? That's a good plan. I like it. I personally like it. And boys, by the way, you know what happened yesterday? I was in a funeral. Oh, yes. Funerals, man. In the last three years, there have been only three times I have wore underwear. I'm not joking, by the way. S since I left my governmental position, I have not been wearing under underwear, boys. It's like every day is freestyle day. And there I have been only two, three times I have worn underwear. One was for this funeral. 
Uh, the other one was for another funeral. Yes, I have been to like five funerals in the past four years. Man, that shit is getting annoying at this point. Uh, but point, point being... I probably do this. Point being... Not that funerals are annoying, because, you know, they, they legitimately start to get annoying at a point. Oh, and it was uh, the funeral of my neighbor, a family friend, essentially. So, you know, it wasn't great, but it wasn't all that sad, because we have already learned that funerals are not supposed to be all doom and gloom, that you're supposed to have a good time. You're supposed to look forward to the food you're gonna be eating. You're supposed to be looking forward to the drinks that you're gonna be drinking. By the way, amazing vodka. Don't know what it was, but it was amazing, and everyone was decently drunk five minutes in. Yeah, that sounds like a problem, but it's not. Oh, that's ass. Well, whatever, I guess. He can play the kite when I can just, uh yeah, start of extinction at YOLO 420. But yeah. So, back to the underwear. And one time was when I needed to go on a date with an extremely modest girl. So, that, th those were the only three times that I have worn underwear in the past, like, three-ish years. And no, every funeral that is not deserving of me wearing underwear, obviously. So, yeah, that's, that's the underwear story. But man, that funeral was pretty good. Heard a lot of interesting things, because, um... The guy, uh, the guy who passed, son... Oh my god, that's just evil. The guy who passed son is a big shot. He is he is the le uh, the pretty much uh, executive branch CEO of, of this country in a type of I'm not gonna say the place, but it's extremely prestigious. He's not a millionaire. He's not a billionaire, but his position is redonkulously prestigious to the to the utmost limit. And so he knows a lot of millionaires and some billionaires even. I get to talk to him rarely because he's usually busy or on some kind of, you know, uh, boat. Fun, fun. He told a lot of good stories. And one of the most interesting stories he told was about a Russian oil millionaire. And he didn't, that, that guy did not own any oil himself. He was just a norm, uh, and he's gone already or something like that. You know, well, not gone, gone, but on leave, on, on, well, his, his work has ended, essentially. So, what is it, what, what happened was, this guy was just your everyday, normal engineer, and he was making 15k USD in Russia per month. That's already super good, and he was one of the very, very, very rare Russians who doesn't steal from his workplace. And considering he worked there for quite some time, no one ever heard a single time that he stole anything. When the when the manager uh, when the top managerial position opened, they just put him in him there. And uh, and then he got his first paycheck, and that first paycheck was one million USD. <laughs> When uh, he uh, the story is when he when he uh, when, when he received the paycheck he saw nine hundred eighty thousand, and he's like, oh gee, did someone did someone add two extra zeros or something by accident? And so he, he 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 calls the bookies. They say, oh yes, sir, sir, yeah, we're gonna check right 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 away, sir, we're checking, we're blah blah blah. And then they call him back. And say, oh yeah, there's there's a mistake, sir. We we, we didn't give you two twenty uh, k extra. And that's how one random guy became millionaire just because he was one of the rare people in Russia who doesn't steal shit. And now and now he owns uh, boats, which he calls boats, but in reality it's a three story goddamn yacht. He's already uh, off of that business. Uh, but, you know, th there's a lot of interesting, I can't even go uh, over all the things that he said, because, yeah, that's the circles he's in. And by the way, that guy is not a millionaire. He's just an extremely prestigious position that people recognize and whatnot. He He's not a millionaire himself. He he doesn't make millions, uh, millions a year and whatnot. But, 
the thing with millionaires and billionaires is there's not exactly a lot of millionaires and billionaires that you know can be your friends because that uh, that circle is very limited and i think i'm just gonna drop this call it a day and see what this guy does should have probably dropped the fable passage but who cares right so yeah that's the thing there were a lot of good stories all of us go out to smoke and it's like we're laughing because it's like the the, the three the three basic types of smoking the default cigarette the e-cig and uh the vaping stuff and it's like every 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 single way is just shit well now you need to sack things congratulations do you do you feel proud of your choice what does this even do human based toughness can mod block no one cares okay cool but yeah <laughs> that that's the thing it's kind of funny wait why is it toughness one suddenly shouldn't it be bigger better stronger faster or something also i think i can get immortal sun or everyone's favorite card the whatever Ah, uh, but yeah it, it, it was a good ceremony it was good crying from people non-crying from people uh waiting our family for some like we're not their family right we're just uh, we're just family friends essentially because of my uh, past grandfather right where's the fucking stupid bird thing oh he destroyed it that absolute animal okay mortal son it is good luck casting your dumbass planeswalker now loser why does our family always get to uh, get to have the role of well let's let's raise a glass and have a toast let's speak on why like shouldn't someone of the family do it but now nah, every single time it's probably us it's getting annoying like seriously but yeah it, it was a good ceremony it was a good everything good no not not good stuff but good stuff in the in the sense that you understand it's good stuff so yeah also, you know what someone didn't, uh, you boys absolutely loved, by the way, yesterday's video with the, uh, Explorer format? But yeah, it's a little bit sad, I'm not sh I don't know what you even do. Enters the bit. You, you, you fucking what? <sighs> okay. Okay, right. That just happened. Destroy all dragon creatures, non-dragons. Yeah, so I need to find a way to deal with that now. Damn it. Also, it's getting hot in here. Woof. Gotta get that beach body ready. You know what I'm saying? That just means that I need to uh, shave my 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 boob area and my gut, and that's pretty much it. Not sure I called any of that correctly, but hey, it's time to shave the front and the lower front to a perfect level. Oh yes, everyone knows that's the play. Okay, so the play is simple, right? I drop this and probably can I actually play it six. Sit so now. I'm missing two man. Eliminate you say? Well, I am eliminating you. That's for sure, my dude. Can I actually drop it? <sighs> It's not safe. It's not safe. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it anyway. YOLO 420. Safe is not a word that real men use. Safe is an adjective that women use to describe boring stuff. It's true, by the way. So, there we go. What is he gonna discard? Probably stuff and MacGuffins. When I attack, half his opponent exiles a creature they can... Gee, he just has everything, huh? And that rounds down. My god, does he have just too much? Oh, he did the thing, damn it. Yeah, I should have probably killed it. Now he's gonna draw a million. Then he stole my immortal son, that's so bad. Am I actually gonna lose? He luckily destroyed our sunbird's invocation, which is total BS. And then he just stole our immortal son, which is even bigger BS, honestly. Okay, this is at least useful because it draws cards. But yeah, uh, now... Well, on one hand, at least he can't use his stupid Planeswalker. I have a feeling he has more stupid Planeswalkers. Uh, Archain Sigil, yeah, sure, why not. Maybe he plays something and I can spark double it. 
You may have, uh, you may blah 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 cop creature you- Oh no, spot double was only creatures I control. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Not perfect, but it is what it is. Ah. Uh. Also, I don't know, I think boys I have got in my life figured out for the moment, at least in time zones, <laughs> what I'm supposed to do when. So now I'm currently looking in at around one or two spare hours per day. I know, it's amazing, right? Between making YouTube videos, playing Magic, and playing Lost Stock, which I don't make videos about, but it's pretty much a job at this point. I have found around two-ish hours that I could potentially go, go to the gym yet again to. Now the problem is, there's not too many gyms around the place I live. And I don't want to exactly drive 20 minutes to a gym, because that's like just fucking stupid at that point. At that point, you're better off making your own gym, you know, with cookers and stuff. But at least it's a gym. Okay, this is good, this is good. I- I- wait, he hasn't done anything. Dude! How has he not done anything? At this rate, this is already costing 11 mana. Two mana left, jeez. Oh no, actually three mana left. If it's three mana left, I can almost spot. Well, I need to get rid of his can sooner or later, I guess. I need a black market. Black market kind of makes it that planeswalkers are relatively not expensive. I'm sorry, you, you, you what? Return creature to its owner's hand. You know what? That's okay. I have no idea what you do. You may draw a card. Oh, he just drew. Okay, that makes sense. Can you give me back my immortal son, please? I kind of like it when it's in my possession. Also, this is a shadow duel now because you don't just steal someone's mortal son like that. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Um, let's see. We do have a helm of the host with the most, so that's kind of good. Uh,. That's real useful. Because that allows me to put that back in, that back in, that back in, and a that back in. Since suddenly our pile just became pff, a million times more stronger, honestly. So let's see what we get. I don't think he had the oof ah uh, ooh, 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 ah uh. Pyrexian Arena one Hondo. It's, it's, it must be Pyrexian. Okay, if he has a counter spell, he may choose to counter the Chuba, Chuba Macabre. Uh, he did not. Lame! Well, that's your own choice. Ah, here we go. Uh, whatever. Car do thing done. Yes. Wait, what did he just... Ooh, Price of Fame. That's a rare one. No one uses Price of Fame, when it first came out, it was actually like, okay, Price of Fame, not exactly that bad in a format where there's more than, like, two uh, legendary things. Now every- ooh, Oh, that's big, boys! That's big, 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 big! I like it, I like it. Soon I'm gonna get the Immortal Sun back. And after that, Valhalla awaits. Not my Valhalla. Wait, he doesn't get to go to Valhalla. Also, boys, where would you rather go? Heaven or hell? I don't care if you believe it in it or don't. Where would you rather go? Heaven or hell? Obviously, heaven seems like the safe choice, right? But think about it. Cereal? Was that mine? No, that's his. Yeah, that's his. Think about it. None of your friends are gonna be in heaven, and heaven's literally omega lame. There has never been a lamer place than heaven because you get you don't get to do anything cool in there. It's just a waste of time. Oh, Vraskas. Okay, that that hurt. That hurt on a physiological level. Big words. Don't know what they mean, but it's good enough. Uh, cleanse the mind. Not currently that useful. Not gonna lie. Gaunty. You steal from me, I steal from you, S.A. See, I wonder what you know, actually even get from him. Maybe a mortal son of my, well, his own. 
Please give me his immortal son. Yeah, he doesn't have an immortal son. Oh, wait, rogue class? Sign me up! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's that seems pretty good. Yeah, that, that seems that, that that's kind of on point. Not gonna lie. Sure. Yeah, just just give it to me. Oh, that's nice. Also, no, 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 not that bad. Now I can play this and copy Gonti yet again. Oh, I honestly should maybe. I I have a helm of the host, so it doesn't matter. Also, Gonti copying is also a thing, so you know you you boys know what's up. You, you boys know what what's up. Okay, let let's let's get. Um, do I already not have a command tower? Player draws two cards, and yes, sir, Bob, I like it. And now your rogue class is mine. I'm not gonna win, by the way, with Ether Flux Reservoir. That's that's not the plan, okay? That's that's not the plan. The plan is definitely not winning with Ether Flux Reservoir. So I'm gonna refrain from doing it, even if I can. This person just needs to be extensively put in his place because he took my immortal son. It even says owner, the great white dragon. Sooner or later, wizard is just gonna print uh, on every single immortal son that I am the owner. I am the only true lord of the immortal son. Wizards, I know you're watching because your intern's job is to literally watch, uh, watch my channel 24-7. Reprint Immortal Sun for me. And call it Immortal Sun. Advanced or something not lame like that. Oh yes. Wow. Wait, seriously? Of all your choices you just decided to, to put back Cleanse Z Mind. I can still reshuffle my deck because I have stuff there, so Chief, please. Well, I guess he doesn't care. Four, three. I'm missing one man. I, I, I need to uh, need to do this, and I need to scry, and then I can uh, use him if I get a land here. Uh, Litiform engine is very very nice, but no, actually, yeah, Litiform engine me up, baby, ladder me up. Why not? Wait. Oh, this has been accumulating cards for four, four turns now. That's a little bit much, not gonna lie. Uh, he has one card. That's honestly extremely not impressive. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually, like, really, really not impressive. I am gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pound you so hard, it's not even gonna be... Well, it's gonna be hilarious on my side. You're gonna not have a good day. Land. Wait, that's it! We got it! Drop it like it's hot. And then I can just equip Helm of the Host because I have 5 mana. By the way, Helm of the Host, one of the best examples of no timing ca card. Look at this. Costs 4 to drop and costs 5 to equip. I I it's insane. Imagine a card like this nowadays. Absolutely unimaginable. Also, we actually need to discuss Pandal Harmonican. Pandal Harmonican is a very, very interesting card. Because it's a 4 cost. So, someone left a comment on my yesterday's video about I don't know how I feel about having zero instant interaction. Well, instant interaction is only good against creature decks, and instant interaction can be substituted by flooding the board with creatures that have death touch lifelink and so on and so on. So, instant interaction is not always necessary, by the way. It's a thing that's kind of good and kind of useful most of the time, but there are times when instant interaction is not exactly needed. So, that's one thing you boys should remember. And one more thing. There's, there's this very interesting thing about 4, 5 drops and 6 drops. There are some 4 and 5 drops that are slower than 6 drops. And Pantle Harmonicon is a very good example. Or, for example, uh, Ether Flux Reservoir. Ether Flux Reservoir is probably a bad example, but Lidiform Engine is a great example of this. Lidiform, uh, let me explain it like this. Lidiform Engine, arguably, would be more powerful as a 6 drop. Now, how does increasing the mana cost to 6 than 4 make it actually a better card? Well, it doesn't. 
But the concept is like this. On turn 4 and 5, if you're a control deck and you're using value cards like Litiform Engine, that's the turn where, you're, uh, where you have the best chance of establishing e equality on the board or gaining board advantage. So, dropping something that does nothing for a turn and only creates value potentially a turn later death means that that's potentially a losing play. And that's why 4 and 5 uh, value cards are really bad if they don't do anything instantaneously. Because those are the turns where someone can win a game. Those are the turns where control decks usually establish a decent board presence, advantage, or equality. That's why it's a lot easier to play a 6-drop uh, six Planeswalker on curve than it's a 4-cost or 5-cost value card on curve. Because when the 6-cost pl Planeswalker hits, uh, that's, not, that's not too shabby. When the 6-cost Planeswalker hits the board, the board state is already clear, and it's most likely uh, on, a, on a free board, and there's no real detriment to playing it. But, if you're, play, uh, if you're playing it on 5, chance, uh, 5 or 4, as a control deck, chances are, the board state is not in your favor. That's the difference between uh, 4 and 5 value drops versus uh, 6 value drops. 3 and 4 is also good. But some value drops are extremely good uh, on 4 in Commander. And Commander, honestly, for, uh, deck building is a lot different because 4 and 5 and value drops are really good. Most people haven't created board prisons. On turn 3 or 4 in Commander, it's still usually just ramping up and doing stuff, right? So... Now we have Kindred Denial. That could be useful. Ouch. Well, I'm gonna mill half of that, so don't be too happy. <gasps> Wait! Why is Immortal Sanu Ganu? Also, sure, why not? Just, just, just counter it. There's a chance we get the 3 cost uh, search anything card. And that would be big, big, big business. That's not what I was looking for. Honestly, our deck's super slow this game. Don't know why, don't know how, but it is what it is. But we're gonna mill this guy. Yeah, I don't think he has a way to... Ooh, big, big boy energy, huh? Are you proud of yourself? Play the Thief of Sanity. I almost put the Thief of Sanity in my own deck. Oof. Wait, what the hell is this? Flying. That's a really bad card, dude. That's a really bad card. <laughs> okay. Uh, should I? Yeah, you know what? As foretold, let's let's go. Copy that bad boy up. I want free real estate. Actually, I have never used two as foretolds. So, what's the interaction? I. Don't legitimately know what's the interaction. Yeah, act wait, yes, I don't know how the interaction works. So, do I use both if I pick, or do I use one if I pick? I have no idea, but this is also not bad. Creatures have menace, why not? <laughs> Uh, I'm, he has 10 HP. He, he can't do anything. 16 cards left, but absolutely demolishing this guy. Chobian. What a name. What a lad. What a mad lad, in fact. His Kaiko is currently costing 8. Well, mine's costing 13, so I, so I guess it is what it is. But, well, we can always honestly just force him to... Ooh, cool. You know what, we can always force him, theoretically, to live longer by resetting his deck. That's a play. The only value he has is a Celestus. That's not impressive, that's not impressive at all. So yeah. 8, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, 18. Oh, I can actually do this and double it up. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Why not? 
uh, full, I guess. Got a lot of lands here. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh no! The best start seizure in my life! What will I- how will I ever recover? Okay, that's cute, not gonna lie. At least he has stuff. Ooh, Omega cute. Hmm. Wait, what? Why? Oh, because draw cards. Yeah, I forgot the effect. Cool art. Changeling outcast. Cannot be blocked. Changeling. One cost. One, one. Actually, a very overstacked card. But in a format where, honestly, this is not even enough to make it good. Especially in black color. Could have potential in uh, red, but sa sadly it's black. So, not gonna work too well. Okay. So what's the plan? Just really drop him, see what happens? And then create a copy of him to see what more happens? Seems legit. Oh, land. Nice. A counter spell. Actually useful. 10 out of 10. Okay, let's go. Oh, they have menace, so it's really hard for uh, for him to stop it. Oof. Oh, no. He discards one, then he discards another one. It's not a big deal. What was that? A ninja rat? Ugh. Disgusting. Deplorable, even. Okay, another one. Come on, discard that one card. Man. We just ultra punish this dude. There's, there's just no question. Oh no, search for us. Wait, what is his card that's left? It must be something glorious because search for a scant. <laughs> Hello? Are you sure, I say? What is that even? Kaito's Pursuit. Discard two cards, ninja strategy and menace. That's a bad card. Well, okay, we're, we're stomping into the ground someone who is not really equipped too well to handle us. And you know who else is not uh, equipped too well to handle us? Uh, that's right, tight cap mill. And boys, it's most likely a date this weekend with her. Oh, glory times, all praise the milf goddess. God bless the primal milf, the every milf. And is that desperation right there I smell? <laughs> Man, you know I love some desperation. Now, maybe he has something that uh, destroys the field? Potentially, potentially. Hmm. Yeah, potentially. Well, this is what happens when you don't have any life gain. Actually, let's see. Maybe he had something to gain life. What is this? It's bad. Uh, he was playing like a ninja stealthy type of deck, huh? Oh, he had this. That's a good card. Uh, that's a bad card for a deck like this. Helm of the Host with the most. This rat thing. Unblockable. Ninja. Fatal push. Don't know what this is. Planeswalker Exile. Wait, his deck literally seems empty. What the hell? It seems empty AF. Yeah, sure, no blocks. It doesn't matter. Our HP pool does not matter at all. Also, I have a counter spell. Ooh. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, Elspeth. <gasps> no. No, no, you can't. You can you can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy you. Oh my. Okay, that's problematic. I hate things that ruin my graveyard. Uh, things that ruin my graveyard are unpleasing, to say the least, even. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was not even. That was not even. What a spectacular ending. Anyway. This was Kuzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Have a nice day. Oh, bye bye.